Hey, what up you guys? John's Moto Garage, welcome back to the channel. This is pretty rad. We're uh, over at Gina Motorsports here in Mesa, Arizona. Dom and his girlfriend are working with the crew here on installing coilovers on his girlfriend Bree's Cadillac CTS. Is Dom still in the trunk? What's up guys? My name is Bree. YouTube channel is CTS Breezy. That's C-T-S-B-R-Z-Y. Right now we're working on my 2013 Cadillac CTS-B. We just installed Megan Racing coilovers and right now we're working on doing a Magna Ride Delete Kit. We got the front done already. We're working on the rear here and hopefully after that everything works smoothly. We uh, just adjusted the coilover for shoes sitting too low. So if you come over here, we marked it so we knew where we were coming back around to count the turns. So we went eight times around. So eight on this side, eight on the next, and, yep. Yep. and then we'll try again. Drop her down and see how she looks. We're going to leave Bree to her thing doing her CTS coilovers. What's up, guys? My hair is just going crazy. So. With the luscious locks, bro. Yeah, we're here. So it's nearly impossible to get a hold of this dude. He kind of runs underground. He's a lone wolf. Oh, come on, nah, come on. Nah. All right, so I want to do a mini interview for people who may not be familiar with you. And then you're going to share a couple like secret insider tips on Harley wheelies because yeah, yeah. tons of us are still struggling <laughs> to figure this game out. Yeah, so I'm Dom, Dom Perillo, Dom A29. I've been doing this stuff for, I want to say six, seven years now. I don't even know anymore. Started when I was 18. Uh, started on a 883 Sportster at 2000. 883 Sportster um, beat the hell out of that thing until I came up on this thing. And now six years later, you know, I'm doing shows all over the country, going to all the big crazy rides. I wouldn't change it for the world, man. It's definitely a crazy life, but I love it. So yeah, it's kind of my background story on doing the Harley wheelies and stuff. John wanted to do a little bit of uh, tips and tricks video for you guys little secret stuff here and there that people uh well, some people know about a lot of people don't one of the tricks that a lot of people don't know about that a lot of the top riders like myself do is when we pop up wheelies you'll see a lot of us especially in our instagram videos we do not have our foot up here we do not have it up there we usually hook it straight away and the reason for that being is because it connects you to the bike like way better. You don't feel like you're about to fly off the thing. At least for me, that's how I feel when I hook my foot. I feel like the bottom half of my body is just connected to the bike and it's not gonna go anywhere. And that's the main reason why it's just so comfortable to take your hands off when you have your uh, foot hooked. So hooking your foot right away, just even doing a plain wheelie even going for scrapes so yeah that's uh one of the tips and tricks that i think is very crucial another one um if you are doing hand drag this is for more advanced riders obviously what i do a lot and a lot of people you know a lot of the big dogs do this as well um is a lot of people when they're doing a wheelie you know you center you center your chest with the center of the bike, right? Um, which is what I do too, if I'm doing a regular wheelie and I'm going for a scrape or whatever. But if I'm doing a hand drag, you know, you got the foot hooked, you got your bars locked. And if you keep your chest center, you're only gonna be able to go so far unless you extend this arm as well, right? A lot of people do this, they're doing hand drags like this. If you extend your arm, you're gonna be able to go deeper, which is, essentially what everyone's going for now so yeah so when i do it i extend this arm i keep my bottom half of my body as tight and connected to the bike as possible and that allows your upper half to be able to like move around you won't feel like the bike is going with you at all it's just going to be going straight right so when i do hand drags you'll see me a lot of the time leaning toward the, towards the side that I'm dragging, um, which allows me to get deeper into it, which is, you know, the elbow drag, stuff like that. So that's another major thing. That's for advanced people learning hand drags, or if you are doing hand drags and you wanna go 
deeper with them, that is a major trick right there that you can use to uh, make that happen for you. So for drifting, I feel like a lot of guys, this is a crucial one for me, but I came from motocross. I grew up racing motocross uh, since I was three years old all the way till I was 18. That's what I did. Um, so I'm used to being on top of my tank, right? Um, a lot of people, they'll drift in the cup of the seat, which puts more, more of your body weight on your rear tire. And that's not what you want when you're drifting, because then it's gonna cause you to hook, high side, etc. cetera. Um, so when I'm drifting, I put my ass as far forward on the seat as possible. And then I hold myself up, I like pull myself up with my bars as I'm drifting so I don't slide back into it. That helps tremendously for me. It also makes me feel like I have more control over the bike, um, just being on top of it more. Yeah, that's a huge one for drifting. Those are some crucial things that we can think of on the spot. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, you know, drop a comment. We'll be sure to uh, get to you. I think that's pretty much it. You know, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this content, obviously. Dom underscore 829, YouTube and Instagram. Making progress on the caddy. Are you stoked on it? Super stoked. So where can people find your channel and all that good stuff? YouTube, C-T-S-B-R-Z-Y. Instagram, C-T-S-B-R-Z-Y. And yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm running right now. Awesome. TikTok, actually. Oh, TikTok as well. C-T-S-B-R-Z-Y. All of those the same. Well, step one is lowering it, and we accomplished that today. And after that, my plans are to build the motor, got a cam kit, uh, doing some other stuff to it, and then, um, the vehicle is going to get a full color change with a wrap, oh, final nice. wrap by uh, 518 Design. So we're making progress. This is step number one to many, so super stoked. I think that's going to do it. Hanging out with Dom and Bree today. Checking out the CTS. It's been a blast. Check out their stuff, and we'll hit you guys up on the next one. Adios, nos vemos.